good morning. It's currently half past four in the morning and we're we'll all slowly congregating in the lobby because we're about to catch our first internal flight. interesting how people are reacting to us at the moment because we're in the low season they're not used to seeing um, like foreigners so because me George and Rhea are all quite tall we're like performing monkeys they're just like grabbing us all the time to have a photo it's so funny um, but tomorrow we go even deeper like in we go up into um, we're staying in a modest monastery um, for two nights so we're gonna go deep into the mountains so that'll be so much fun but it'll be interesting to see how the little villagers uh, react Sorry, you get that itch. <laughs> Look at that strut. Work it, girl. Work it. I think pandas are now my favourite animal. <laughs> so freaking cute. <laughs> 
Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, bye. <laughs> nom 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 nom. Hello. Oh my god. Oh my god. Follow the panda. Go, go, go. So glad we came in the low season because there's like no one here, just a few people. I've seen videos of when it's high season and you just can't move, there's so many people. So now we can just take our time and look at pandas all day. Some cute ass baby pandas oh, playing. <laughs> They are adorable. Should we get closer? Got a good zoom. <laughs> oh. <laughs> what are they doing? Go on, you can do it. Why is he had such a wonderful time at the pandas? They were lovely and we learned like loads. We went and watched like movies about kind of how they're born and then how they breed and like mating and stuff so that was really cool. Um, but yeah and then there was loads of um, Chinese students who wanted to speak English. They come to speak who spoke to me. Call me a, a gorgeous lady. Makes the day even better. So we're now going to travel another two hours into the mountains and go and see the world's biggest uh, Buddha in. some local noodles. see the world's biggest Buddha um, so we climbed up more steps um, but I can't pronounce the Buddha's name in Chinese but the English translation is Happy Buddha on a mountain 
world's biggest Buddha is 71 meters tall and um, was made in, seven, in 703 AD so it's ancient so he got his head the hands resting on his knees which then lead down to the feet it is massive it's making me feel quite dizzy of how steep we're currently climbing down got to get back up this yet Ba ba ba